Hello everybody, as you can see this is the Lenovo all-in-one uh, PC, the Thin Center Edge 91Z model and quite firm and heavy and it comes with only 4 gig of RAM I need to upgrade the RAM. So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM from 4 to 8 gig or whatever you'd like to do. So luckily I got one, I just bought this old machine just to make a video and show people how to do that so first of all you need the RAM replacement RAM which one DDR3 and screwdriver which is quite big Philips one and also you need a kind of flat opening tool which is similar to that and that would be enough to open up this machine okay so in this video you're gonna find how to disassemble this machine and how to upgrade the RAM. So let's get into it and show you. So first of all, make sure you disconnect your charger and put it on the flat surface because this is touch enabled as you can see. That's the front bit and that's the back. All right, it's quite heavy. So make sure you put it on the flat surface like that. Okay, so before we attempt to any repair or any disassembly, you need to have a kind of idea like what kind of structure is that? So if you look at it, the machine and let's say we never ever done any repair on this model. So how to open up, we can get some idea. First of all, as you can see, there is one screw right here, okay, which is on the handle rest. And then another screw in here and uh, in there. All right. And rather than that, there is no more screws. So definitely, definitely we need to remove these three screws to get access into it. And if there is any more screw behind it, we'll see. So first of all, let's take this screw out with the Phillips screwdriver. That's the one. And this one does have a cover. It would come up easily. Maybe sometimes a little bit difficult. So lift it up from the bottom side and put it on the side there. Now, that is the handle. As you can see, so we must need to remove it by removing these two screws. So you can lift this up easily. And now these two screws. Okay, so once you unscrew it, you can see there is a gap underneath. Okay, it would come up like that and the screw would never ever come out complete white okay. so make sure you keep it in your mind now take a kind of flat opening tool and start spluttering from inner to out as you can see like that and this one already came up easily okay sometimes you need to give it a couple of tries you know so we luckily this one popped out okay. so this side almost came off now actual problem is in right here okay right. so we're gonna spot it in here you can see yeah. now this side So lift this up straight on the top that's the actual back cover there is nothing as you can see there are little prong in there and the screw has a lock so it doesn't come up all the way and this is the locker hook kind of anchor three of them at the bottom and one two three four five five of them on the top and three of them on the side so when you open up, you just need to do it in that way. So the panel would be unlocked and you can take this out. So on the right hand side, as you can see, this is the panel. Underneath there is the RAM stick slot. So how are you going to remove it? You don't have to take out the complete metal frame due to replace the RAM stick. Okay, this is look like quite difficult as you can see the pattern, but it's super easy. How? Just remove this screw. From the right hand side all 
right? And then he can slide out, as you can see. So he can slide out the complete way. And as you can see now, the motherboard is right here. So in this machine, there are two RAM slots. It comes with four gig. If you have another one, then you can put it right here. So example, I do have eight gig one. So I'm gonna put it right here, that way. And just push it down. So now this one does have two gig. All right. So many people they left a comment uh, previously like if it does support any M.2 or NVMe uh, SSD yes it does as you can see there is one slot right here okay that's the one and also if you do have any question to upgrade the processor I would say yes you can upgrade the processor this one does have an option the latch is similar to desktop PC which is one of the great option to do that and the really impressive things in here the actual cooling fan with the heat sink the cooling fan is super big i never seen in hp all in one pc similar to that nor even in uh, lenovo idea center so this is one of the great one to keep it cool okay and pretty much that's all all right so after you upgrade the ram stick what you need to do you just need to put it back so how are you going to do that don't be confused as you can see there is a little edge and comes quite you know less wider than that part so it seems like this part would go here but it's not okay it goes under that this side so put it under there as you can see and then slide in one more screw should be right here almost done now what you're gonna do we're gonna close the actual back cover now to close the back cover we need to keep it straight this way and then try to put the front bit first because this is quite difficult best part is okay you can see this is going in Now, don't push it down until you put the screw back on, the two screws. So that's how you do upgrade the RAM stick for this Think Center Edge Z91Z. And pretty straightforward. What you need to do first, you need to open up the back cover and then the handle and then the metal frame, obviously. And just take out the screw. Quite straightforward. Still, if you need any help, then please let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to make another video. And I hope. I'll see you again and please do subscribe if you do like this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. For